This is Funeropolis. Um, I don't really know much of anything about this, um, other than it, it gave me vibes of Fears to Fathom, um, which I love, so I wanted to check it out. It was an Ichio game. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's type in. I want to make sure the volume's a little down just in case it's loud. Uh, also, Jetrom, thank you so much for 34 months. Also, no worries. Like, totally take care of yourself first. I, it's it's totally okay if folks don't sub. I'd, I'd rather you guys take care of yourselves. I appreciate all the support, you guys, very, very much. Have I ever played Oxenfree? I haven't. I have Oxenfree 1. And it's been on my list to play for a long time. Dino Crisis is something I'd like to play. Yes, also Parasite Eve. The clouds just won't go away. The streets are much quieter nowadays. No wonder with the current air condition and all. Stuff I don't need in the house. Empty pot full of dirt. My apartment. It's become quite messy in recent days. I don't really care these days. Clouds are, getting clouds are getting thicker every day. We haven't seen much sunlight in months. Ficus. Is that, I th is that the incorrect spelling of ficus? It's been... It's seen better days. There's only so much you can do without much sunlight. I thought it was a C. Empty. Increasing number of uh, Huta Grombo mine plant workers sent over sent home over a recent incident at a factory area. Their identities remain classified. The official ruling of the mine council. Uh, resumption of mining work in eastern sectors. In order to reduce the losses caused by stagnation in the mining area, the city government has decided to resume mining operations in the eastern region. This area was estimated to be most stable and safe for workers. Other areas are under evaluation. Um, I will fly to the recently discovered third moon of Mars, Harmony. The probe was launched in neutral no man's land. Residents of the nearby town of Huda Grobno could see a streak trailing towards the flying satellite in the night. We haven't even seen the sun in months. I'll fix them one day. I have to get them off the wall one day. It makes me look like a madman. Got this tiny thing from my grandma. Radio-related machinery that allows me to listen to radio traffic. I use this recorder, more importantly, bits of radio transmission. Marks the 45th day of intense sky cloudiness. People are advised to stay indoors and don't leave their windows open, as the air can have negative effect on the lungs, scientists say. We still don't know the source of the city's air pollution, but the right people are working on the problem. For now, all we can do is stay calm and use the time spent indoors to take care of those closest to us. Uh-huh. Now for the closest thing for me is this plant in the corner of the room. Have 
Had another confrontation in one of the closed sector sections in the factories. Two people injured. Severity of injuries is mild and non-life-threatening. Five quarantined factory workers have been compromised. One suffered fatal injury. Requesting two emergency trains to help deal with the cleanup of the biohazard related to the aftermath of the incident. We can't determine the type of hazard we're dealing with. Approach the scene with caution. Ugh, I'm getting hungry. It's dinner time. Books, collection of technical books about radio transmitters and other machines. There's some sci-fi novels tucked between them. Clock and some books. Empty. Uh, the move revealed some curious equipment needing repair in my attention. I prepared a list of needed parts. Uh, things in new apartment, new bedding, get this ASAP, replace the bathtub. Fix the fridge and wash it. Previous overseer left office in shambles. The estate council needs the documents sorted till the next meeting. Uh, there's a talk in today's estate council of some sort of accident in the mines. You need to go out and buy a newspaper because apparently too much attention was taken up with recent repair projects. Uh, the accident's the most talked about thing in the city. Thing seems very sketchy. Haven't been an official report. People say that the church is way too involved with the incident. I have an idea how to get more info. Wait, is this... April, okay. Uh, I have an idea how to get more info about the incident. The church is using special transmitters and hidden frequency for the confidential communication. I think I can figure out how to construct a receiver. I managed to figure out a construction of the transmitter. I'm 90% confident it will work. Unfortunately, I can't test it out right now. There's too much tra There's no traffic this late at night. Receiver's working. I haven't been able to pick up any relevant or important info yet. Might be a good idea to start transcribing what I hear. Thought hadn't occurred to me um, till now. What I'm doing is even legal? Probably not. New tenants moving in. Apartment number 24. Some young lad of college age. I hope he won't cause too much trouble. With most of the staff ill, I'll have to deal with cleanup. I can't focus on work. Backlog of documents keeps piling up. The only thing on my mind is the radio. First attempt at transcribing what I picked up today. Unfortunately, it was nothing interesting. Just idle banter between the crew. I was able to hear back a few conversations about the mining zone that was flooded back in April. It seems the church is unofficially calling the liquid the soup. Soup! Apparently, it's the thing is, uh... Because the thing is unusually thick in consistency, it has a dark color and a strong smell. It sounds different from what was described in the newspapers. Some church are, church, churchmen are even comparing the liquid to thickened blood. Spilled my coffee off of the notebook because one of the residents decided to scare me with a doorbell. Thankfully managed to take care of the catastrophe quick and not lose too much notes. Uh, they were discussing quarantines in the factories today. To sum up what I was able to hear, it's very bad. Someone wasn't released the first week. There's apparently little no chance of them leaving the quarantine. The situation seems very serious. I don't know any details. I only know it has some connection to the soup. What exactly it is, I don't know. How many residents of the building are not coming back? Interesting. Wardrobe filled with junk and unused appliances. Fuse box. Clothes don't see much use. Oh. Same old, same old. It's gloomy outside. Can't have coffee without it. I like this cute little apartment. You know? Other than, you know, the... The death clouds. Freshly cleaned dishes. Try to keep everything clean. Not much to do during the day. Empty bread box. A knife. I should heat up my dinner on the stove. I'm 
assuming that was like amen kind of thing. I should check the radio after dinner. Don't want to miss anything interesting. Always got the funnies in the toilet. Oh, the light switch is outside the bathroom. Weird. Two separate bathrooms? One just for toilet. Some painkillers. Uh, underground source of unidentified liquid was discovered while working in the city's deepest open pit mine, Centrum Grombo. Grobno. Thick, rust-colored substance flooded the bottom of the mine in less than an hour and appears the liquid level is gradually rising. She's having a smoke. Miss Bezier? Begier? Begier? She prefers to smoke in the hallway rather than her own apartment, unfortunately. One of those neighbors. Turn that fan on. Get some air moving in here. Reporting from Sector 2, the mining hole. Today we recorded a sudden increase in the unidentified liquid. Caught some of the crewmen off guard. They came in contact with the substance. We did preliminary cleanups and followed the latest draft of procedures. They should be arriving in HQ's medical ward in the next tram. Take care of them. There's also new samples of the soup arriving on the same train. They were taken today after sudden rise. I think I saw the surface move today. Although I think I wish it was only my imagination. Reports for the mines are becoming more and more concerning. I love the idea of this, like, here's this, like, quarantine going on and all I have is my radio and just kind of, like, trying to piece info myself. Oh, well, that's not good. What the fuck? Can't see through the hole. It's pitch black. Is this one of the abnormal thing churchmen were talking about on the radio? I need to see if the wall on the other side is broken, too. It should be visible. My office. Haven't been there for some time. I don't need to go in there. Communal bathroom. I like the convenience of having these things in my apartment. Miss and Mr. Begier's apartment. I don't really don't want to talk with them. Creepy old guy's apartment. This man is giving me the creeps. What's with the noise? Nita? Mr. Nita. Adams? No reason to bother the guy. Vacant. No one lives there right now. This place has been vacant for some time. Apartment of Miss, Miss and Mr. Klimek. I don't need to bother them.
Can't see anything weird from this side. It's getting late and I'm tired. I'll figure something out tomorrow. I'll just figure out the weird hole in the wall tomorrow. Yeah, Silent Hill 4. We're going to crawl through it. Adam secretly a serial killer. We're going to go investigate his dream victims. Uh, hey, overseer. What you doing here? Admiring the walls? Hello, Adam. I'd rather appreciate if you didn't sneak up on people like that. Huh, sure. Is there anything going on or... Not really. It's nothing you have to worry about. If you say so. Do you know what... I thought I heard knocking. Do you know when the janitor's coming back? Oh, it's him talking. Some lights in my apartment are busted. It's getting annoying. Sorry, he's just extended his sick leave and can't find a replacement. Eh, bummer. Oh, I thought he left. I was like, where the fuck he go? Goodbye. Can't look through the people. Nothing to do about it. I love that one. Sound like I'll do anything with the hole today. Might as well try something tomorrow. Hope it'll get, I hope it won't get worse. What's the worst that could happen? I woke up from my dream because I was so angry. Something must have woken me up. I should check what it was. Someone's at the end of the hallway. Things still here. Looking good. Good PJs. Something's happening at the back of the building. I'll see it better from the end of the corridor. Got almost everyone out. We're in the process of identifying residents and relocating them to HQ. Two trams are already on their way. Three more to go. Source is in the basement. We'll probably need another team to secure it. I'll give you an update after all the residents are out. Hey, Zarg. Yeah, we just started this. We're like 10 minutes, 15 minutes in. Uh, we, uh, we don't really know what's going on. We're... I think we're in Poland or, or something like that, or, or maybe a moon of Mars. I don't really actually know, um, but the sky is covered in this haze. Um, there were some mining accidents nearby where a new liquid named the soup was discovered, uh, and people are getting like quarantined if they come into contact with it and then not heard from again. And we're learning all of this via just our radio. Also, a crack just formed in our... Uh, kitchen. It's Poland? Okay.
Adam, something going on? You tell me. I was smoking on the balcony when I heard something going on this side of the building. So I come to check, and what do you know? A church shows up. They went to one of the blocks. A church? What are they doing here? Beats me. They arrived like 30 minutes ago? A lot of them, too. All geared up and shit. And the residents started coming out. Suspicious as fuck, if you ask me. Very suspicious. Check it out for yourself. a lot of people outside. Looks like the whole building's out. Yeah, seems like it. They're all loaded into the trains. The fuck must have happened there? I don't like this. Yeah, no shit. I wonder, uh, hmm? I wonder if we'll hear about this other news, you know? Uh, I really don't think so. But we'll see you tomorrow, I guess. I'm going back to sleep. Sure. Good night. Day two. You love this graphical style of game? Me too. Like that PS1 visible pixel. Love that shit. Love it. I think you can hear some sound coming from it. I'm not sure. Mr. Begier is using the sinks. I'd rather not run into her in the hallway. She and her husband are very bitter and unfriendly people. We barely tolerate each other. Morning coffee is always a good idea. Coffee. Let's check the radio. <laughs> Trouble arising near the city borders. Due to an ongoing conditions in the city, many people have decided to leave. However, this has become severely difficult in recent days. The trains and trams leaving the city are overcrowded and the infrastructure is simply unable to keep up. Waiting times have become unbearably long. Some trains don't arrive at all. Those who decide to leave are on foot, facing at least a two-day hike to the nearest city. It's not an easy journey to make for those who undertake it unprepared. Overcrowded trains are a long hiking trip. No thanks. Reporting one fatality, the guidelines we received have proven insufficient. I understand they're subject to con constant change, but they have failed us. They didn't prepare us for the event that transpired. Please up them as soon as possible to prevent further endangerment of the crewmen's lives due to these avoidable mistakes. From now on, all marked buildings confirmed to show dangerous activity must be placed under mandatory lockdown. Relocate all uncompromised guests immediately and let them take their valuables. There's a chance they won't have anything to return to. Can my apartment be marked because of the thing in my kitchen? It doesn't look that serious, but maybe I should take another look at it. I'm sure it's fine. Is it really that serious? It's just emitting some sound. It doesn't look like something that would warrant liquidation of a whole building. I can always try to record it or determine whether it's dangerous or not. I just need to pick up some equipment from the living room. Uh, microphone. Do we have a microphone? 
Dankeschön. Cable. Mrs. Klimek is sweeping the hallway. Terminal used to access all of the important data related to this block's management. until they go away. Uh. Excuse you? Church scientist. I'm the representative of the church scientific division. You're this building surface here, I presume? Yeah, that's me. Good. We'll have to take a look at the terminal's records. Of course. Take whatever you need. We will. Say... Have any residents reported anything unusual happening in the building? Keep it to myself. Nothing that I know of. It's not like they'd uh, tell me if they were worried if anything worrisome would happen. Oh. Aren't you the overseer? I got the position not long ago. The residents don't trust me yet. I see. Shame. More work for us. One of my men will stay here to take the data from the terminal. We'll be back in a few days to do more thorough search of the whole building. Mandatory, just so you know. Sure. Thanks for the heads up. Your help is not needed anymore. Thank you for your cooperation. Prick. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. So sorry. So sorry. The church is talking with them. Something the matter? Do you have anything unusual to report? What kind of unusual are you looking for? Afraid I cannot share that information with you. If you encounter anything out of the ordinary or near future, please contact the church directly. Sure. Hey, Overseer, I saw the lead church lady go into our office. You know what's really going on here, or is this just a regular checkup, or... I'm afraid I don't know anything more than you right now. Bummer. Let's wait and ask her myself, I guess. Is there really nothing you want to tell me about? We really don't have time for bullshit right now. I know you're hiding something. Something is fundamentally wrong somewhere in the building. For now, I unfortunately cannot act forcefully and need permission to investigate. Next time we are to meet here, it won't be needed. If there is anything left to inspect. I'm sure the hole in the wall is nothing that serious. Getting hungry. Ooh, sandwich. I could go for a sandwich right now.
be better if I don't go into the kitchen for the time of the recording. I wonder if there's anything going on on the radio. Also, the churchmen don't do it. Don't damage the office. Smoking in the hallway again. Fucking ruining the air quality. Hey, look, there's still birds. That's a good sign. Pawn to H6. Pawn 2D to 40. Knight from 8H to F6. Am I playing chess over the radio? I don't want to listen. I can always update my notebook with new developments. I will take some time. The recording should be ready now. Let's see. I need to lie down. I'm about to throw up. I don't like that. What is Miss Klimek doing here? I don't feel well enough to deal with this right now. Those sandwiches were not... What the fuck was in those sandwiches? That's not good. Blood needs to be cleaned up ASAP. Did I lose my fucking hand? Oh shit. I have it still. What what do you what do you mean? Make it easy for the staff to work on maintaining security. Cooperate with the church staff. Uh, report any past stay, industrial factory area. Working with chest staff, hope keeps your neighborhood safe. Hallway is empty. I should clean the blood stains in the kitchen first.
fucking clean it. How 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 to how to clean? The sounds are gone. Chat, how do you clean? Rub it in your face? Oh, okay. There was a mop. The red is not coming off. I don't know what it is, but I don't feel any pain. If it had been a snake, it bit me. Oh, that, that's just my red hand. Wibble. I've always had the red hand, Mr. Church. No need to worry. hand is standing out. I'm not hungry. Who are you? Miss Nito? What can he want? Mr. Nito, what can he want right now? Is something the matter? Did something happen? Yes, there's a problem! A light at the end of the hallway. It's not working and sparks come out when you turn it on. Janitor's not here. Can you fix it? Can you just not turn it on until the janitor shows up? No! Sparks can cause fire. That would be bad. It's your job to take care of the problems. Yeah, I'll do this. Just give me a minute. Good. Goblin man wants help. Yeah. Uh, don't, uh, don't pay no attention to my, my wrapped up hen. I'm, I'm working on a Halloween costume. Hello, Mr. Clemick. Good morning! Was that Mr. Neat at your door? I haven't seen the guy in ages. Yeah, that was him. I tried knocking on his door, but he's always ignoring me. He hasn't been the same since he was dismissed from the factories a month ago. Oh well, maybe we'll come around.
This got damaged pretty bad. I have tools in my office. There's not a hole in my room. We ran out of light bulbs a while ago. Still didn't get the delivery. The fuck's your deal, dude? What's your problem? Mr. Nita, that was highly inappropriate. Nice bandage. Just wanted to see it. See what? What happened to your hand? It's no concern. I'll be going now. <laughs> oh, I'll be going now. <laughs> see you in hell. What's wrong with the guy? Yo, I fixed your stupid fucking light. You prick. Hey, Overseer, kind of overheard your conversation. What was that creepy old guy about? I don't know. I guess his mental health is getting worse and the current situation is probably not helping. I haven't seen the guy leave his apartment since he came back. Even to get food or from the cafeteria or anything. I didn't know he's not dead, I guess. Is Mr. Nita bothering you in any way? If the noises are too much of a nuisance, I can maybe talk to him about it. Noises? What noises? The guy's dead quiet to the point that I thought he uh, died. The apartment kind of stinks. You get too close. You won't hear noise complaints from me. Oh, okay. Huh. We're all fucking dead. Just put the toolbox away. Why not? Why not keep it? Good day. What even are you? Received some disturbing reports of a gruesome incident happening in Bolos Bolonska Street. Details are sparse, but it appears there's been a rather bloody accident in the neighborhood. That's my street. I should go to the balcony and see. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Probably fine, right? Crowd's attention is now split between the bloodbath and the crack in the street. It's probably nothing. I think it's fine. Postponed to a sudden on-site development. We'll provide an update of the situation soon. <laughs> Fuck was I thinking?
I guess he wrote stuff down about the hole. Or maybe his dream. She seems distraught. Miss Begier, did something happen? What was that about? An earthquake? What's going on? I think so. The street in the front of the building's all cracked. Oh god, why is all of this happening? No one really knows, but we're all going through the same thing. Oh, shut the fuck up! You're an excuse of an overseer. Can't fathom why out of all the candidates the board chose you. All you care about is that weird machinery you is not the residents. Why didn't you choose to work at the factories then, huh? Isn't that taking this too far? Commuting to work is too much of a hassle for you. You would probably hold up in the apartment too. Just so you could hold up there for days, avoiding everyone else. Sharing space with the residents is below you, hm? Miss Begier, please, really, that's uncalled for. You shouldn't be here. Just fucking leave. Why'd I even bother? <laughs> oh yeah, why don't you, why don't you leave? <laughs> yeah, I should have told her that. Throw the leaflet away. I don't like the leaflet. I'm not hungry. Following the incident in Bolonska Street, we're receiving reports of small earthquakes throughout the city. Cracks as wide as one meter are formed in the neighborhoods near factories and mines. Train services are disrupted by the usual unusual occurrences and pedestrians are advised to exercise caution while moving through the city. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere in this state. I just wouldn't shut up and screaming. I couldn't tell whether he was in pain or just mad. Unfortunately, we really didn't get there before he lunged at some random pedestrian. At first, we thought he was just covered in blood, which was partially true. When we got closer, we realized it wasn't just blood. His entire body was fucking red. Blood red. We got him transported to the lab, so maybe they'll figure out what's going on. The thing is, when my teammates apprehended him, after making contact, their exposed skin showed symptoms of extreme irritation. I hope it's nothing, but it didn't look good. I've had enough of this day. I'm getting tired, and my headache's getting worse. I better take some painkillers before this turns into a full-blown migraine. I, I better pay no, no attention to what was just said on the radio. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Hope this helps. Someone's there. Who the fuck? I locked my door. I didn't lock the door. Fuck. Why would I think to do something like this if they didn't see my hand? I had enough. Is it is it just me or like does the idea of looking through a peephole, like... It, it puts me so on edge. Like, I'm ready to be scared as soon as I look through a peephole. Even in real life. I'm, like, waiting to see the worst possible thing, po like, ever. Better to cover up the hole in the wall for the night. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll do the trick. Lean a table against it. We'll be safe. We'll be safe and sound. Pitch black. Kitchen's gone. Imagine your face melts down and falls off every day, but you can pick it up and mold it to back together. Would you make yourself a new one? How long would it take for you to get bored of repeating the same thing every day? You know, after a while, you stop caring whether your face is there or not. It's easier this way. And it's not like anybody cares. You won't have to imagine that now. Excuse, excuse me? Excuse me? Is my face gonna fall off? Disgusting. Get off my bed. It's my bed. My place to rest. You and I are the same. Placed at different intervals of time. I don't believe you. You brought it upon yourself. How was I supposed to know it would end up like this? Don't worry. You're welcome to your fate. Don't fight it. I never wanted this. It's not about what you want, it's about what you do. It's not about what the world does to you. Don't fight it. I will. I don't agree to this, this disintegration. There's not much you can do now. It'll be okay, it doesn't hurt. You won't be alone. Just a minute, I'm putting my face on. Disgusting. Is that still me in the reflection? Thing changed. Oh shit, it's no clipping. The table's no clipping. Miss Klimek's standing outside. I can't open the door. I'll just talk to her through the door. Overseer, please open the door. I can't. Tell me what's happening. It's Henrik. No matter what I do, he's not waking up. He's still breathing, but I can't get through to him. Phone line's busy all the time. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm in no shape to help. I'm barely able to stand. But what am I supposed to do? Sorry. There's 
There's another entire block of people affected by the recent mass relocations initiated by the church. While their suspicious activities have kept quiet so far, the citywide scale of operation made it impossible for the situation to remain hidden forever. Both church officials and the city council currently refuse to provide an official statement. If anyone has any... If anyone has been directly affected or has any information, please contact us. The cities of Huta Grombo drop though, deserve to know what's going on. Aw, oh, see wet paint. Have a good sleep. Appreciate you hanging around in the kind words. We're approaching the building from anonymous resident report. It's that damn street again. We'll report after the job is done. Probably after me. It's probably for the better. Oh, that what's that? That's it. Well, shit. Now I want to. Maybe we should warn the the church. Yeah. I think that was like the only like choice I made. apartment even before I moved in. They're nice people. I have no idea why my wall is cracked. It's been in this state for a month now. Some leftover dumplings. Smash no.
moved here long ago and keeps prefers to keep it to himself, which is better if you ask me. Hmm. Got back from playing with dogs outside what happened. So we got one ending where we, we turned into a goopy red man. And then saw some giant things outside. I think we want coffee, right? Getting by, a little bored. Henrik is sleeping most of the day. Adam's blasting music again, as long as no one complains.
Is your husband unwell? He's been better for sure. He's sleeping right now. Been doing that a lot recently. They had an impact on his health, I'm afraid. He won't admit it when I ask. Sorry to hear that. I hope he gets better soon. something abnormal happening. Elaborate. My apartment, there's... Come see for yourself. So the churchman came to your apartment. They saw... Seemed to greatly alarm them. It's a good call to tell them, you think. There's also something else that caught their attention. Your eavesdropping of their channels had been found out. Normally, you'd be arrested for that. But your technical skills seem to be more important for them. You were given an offer. Declining is not an option. Not that it really mattered. It all happened too quickly. The residents weren't evacuated in time. And they were in the heart of it all. Not Adam! Get out of there, Adam! Doomed. You were safe in the church HQ when it happened. Not that any of your actions would have changed anything. Just the guilt remains. Huh. Did I did I make any other choices? Is that it? Is it, is it are those the two paths? Thank <laughs> you. 
Could you tell? You? Yeah, sure. Is it is it just those two hen? It's just that one interesting. Okay. That's kind of unfortunate. It's pretty cool though, like neat little like compact story. I wanted to turn full meat. Why can't I do this? Hey, look at my hand. I heard some noises super early, like 4 a.m. The dad died when I went to the bathroom. The leaflets were already there. If anyone's gonna find out what's wrong in this shithole, it's them. They're not make their job any harder, you know? What happened to your hand? I burned myself while cooking. Nothing serious. That sucks. Guess this isn't a concern when you don't have a kitchen in your apartment. Anyways, I won't keep you any longer. Hope you get better soon. This 
It's a nice little apartment. Yeah, I know. I'd like it too. It's very comfy. Very comfy cozy. Such a neat little game. It's like I want I want there to be more to it, you know? I want to see if I can see who peeps in our door. All right. Well, I think that's it. I was I was hoping there could be something with like me running at the door, but cool game, very cool. Very very cool. I think, I think that's going to do it for me though, chat. I don't really feel like playing anything right now. Um, thanks for hanging with me.
Sorry, uh, sorry, Hollow Body was kind of a disappointment. That was a little bit of a bummer. I was expecting a lot more out of that. Uh, let's go say hi to Gam. Game streaming. He's doing some Star Trek. Ooh. We'll get back to some stuff here. Um, kind of just low energy lately. A lot of, a lot of unmotivated vibes. So. Oh, is Gam's doing the ad? The, the fucking Westeros thing? <laughs> the ad read that had the typo? That's really good. <laughs> 